Hi, hi. I'm going to introduce some basic features of Excel and how they can be used to change a simple spreadsheet with few formula and formatting. I'm going to start by renaming the spreadsheet Exams. So I go down here, I can right click and say Rename or double click and name it Exams. I'm now going to format the spreadsheet so it's easier to read by widening the space by double clicking on the border and that's how I can see the header properly. I also need to do it for mathematics and business studies. Now here PE has been used to code the name instead of using physical education and the same thing for ICT instead of information communication technology. We use less space when we code the names and in some cases it can be very practical. Business studies could also be in this case BS and in that way we use much less space and I always double click on the border to open it up or to close it to the minimum space needed. As you can see if I double click here it goes as close to the text as possible the border. Now I would like to format the header and so I select the first row like this by clicking here on one. Then I'm going to format it in bold so I'm going to click here B. I'm also going to change the font to Arial so I can start writing AR and it will go to all the A's. It would be more practical if it's Verdana so if I'm going to write Verdana it will give me Verdana. And that's also a good font type. Very easy to read the text, but in this case I will have to open this, the cells better by double clicking on all the borders. Okay, now it's better to read the titles and they're very clear. And I'm also going to change the alignment. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to select Format Cells. And I'm going to change the alignment to 45 degrees. I select OK. And this is how it changes. Now if I'm going to add a title here, which could be Teacher, it will be in the same format because I selected the whole row before I set the formatting to alignment 45 degrees. Now the next thing that I would like to do is to arrange the candidates in alphabetical order. So I select the table and I am going to select sort and filter and the first option which is alphabetical order. And I can see it here D, E, J and the last one is T. Okay now I'm going to change the format of the numbers because I want this to be in currency and as we're using euros here in Portugal I'm going to select euro. Now these cells need to be, the cell size needs to be increased so I'm going to double click on the border. Now the next thing I would like to do now is enter a formula to calculate the total cost for the candidates, what they will have to pay for their exams so to do that I can select the numbers that I'm going to calculate and I can press the auto sum and that means I have to have this cell also selected. I press auto sum and the total comes into this cell and I'm going to increase the size. Now this is telling me that I can click here in the corner to see information, the formula in this cell refers to a range that has additional numbers so it's because they think the spreadsheet thinks that these numbers should be used in the formula but as that is not correct I'm going to say ignore error now to calculate all the for all the students I can replicate this formula down for the other students by clicking and dragging from the corner and to check if this is correct, we can see the formula here equals summing up cells C3, which is correct, C3, up until I3, which is over here. So that's all correct. Let's see if we can get rid of the 
error, ignore error. And now I would like to calculate the total cost. So I write here the title total and change the format to bold. And the same thing, we select all the numbers we want to sum up and we click on auto sum. We need to increase the cell size so we double click. And everything is in euros, so that's good. Now I'm going to shade uh, all the names of the candidates. And I'm going to choose here a light green shading. And if I would like to do it for other cells, I can use the Format Painter, which is a really good tool. So since I've already have these cells selected, I'm going to press Format Painter. And I'm going to use it to paint these cells also in the same color. As you can see, it's very practical. If I would like to copy this format, it would be enough for me to select one cell. Press on Format Painter and press the cell that I want to change. But we're not going to do this, so I'm going to press the Undo button. To add a title for this table, I need another row above this one, so I'm going to select this row and I right click and select insert and now I have another row above and I'm going to select until J from A to J and I want to merge and center the title and then I can start writing, I want this to be named IGCSC exam fees Select the text, put in bold, and I want to increase the text size so it's practical to press the A here three times. And now I need to increase the size also of the row height. So I do that here. Same as with the columns, I double click. And I can double click here also. Now I have a title for this table. And the next thing I would like to do is change the decimal places and only have um, the number itself as there are no, no cents. So I'm going to, here is increasing, I'm going to decrease it by clicking decrease decimal places. And that's good. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is go to the insert menu. And if I would like to um, emphasize something, I could use the shapes. I can use an arrow shape to show where the total is. Now the arrow is selected. I can click on it and I can change the, the color. I can also change the weight so it's thicker. And then to add text, we also use the insert menu and we choose a text box. Now we can click and drag and write the information that I would like for people to see. Here is the total amount each candidate. And then we can adjust it. We can also change the format here. We put it in bold or a different color. Anything to emphasize what I want to explain. Now I still think some improvements can be made and we can add the date today to the spreadsheet. So I'm going to select the title row and add another row by right clicking and selecting insert. And here I'm going to place the date today. So we go to formulas, we select date and time and today. And this will bring the value of your calendar or of the date, the computer date today. We select OK, and here we have the date, 12th 12, 12 of the 3rd, 2014. Now the table can also uh, have borders, which will emphasize even more on the numbers. I do that by going to Home, and here are the borders. I can select a thick box border, which comes out like this, which is good. But I think it's even better to select all borders, so it's very interesting, all the numbers. And here we have the total, 
we can add more formula we could have the maximum amount so I'm going to write here maximum and the formula for maximum is equals and max open a bracket and I want to find the maximum value from these numbers so I select them close the bracket and press enter and here we have the maximum value and we can check and verify if it's correct and it is 210 is the biggest value now as we've done maximum I'm gonna include minimum so and that formula is equals min open a bracket same thing we select the numbers close the bracket and press enter and of course we want to emphasize here the title so we press bold and we can increase a little bit the cell size here we have all these headings and I'm gonna also center them that's good uh, what can we do more? We can delete this since we were not using it. Press it and select delete. And yeah, I think that's that's good for basic formatting.